I want to talk about configuring host headers in IIS 7 or it could be IIS 7.5 as well and it's especially when you're configuring host headers with SSL it's you, as far as I know you can't do it directly out of IIS manager so there's this post here on Microsoft TechNet and it talks about configuring a host header for um, a website using IIS 7 and the key here is it talks here about using the app command program app CMD program to add the uh, host header for the SSL binding in IIS the one problem with this is if you actually copy this text out and paste it in you end up with spaces in various spots and if you actually try to execute it from the command line it will not work so uh, the, it gives you some good information here about how to do it but like I said just copying and pasting doesn't quite work so let's I'm gonna go ahead and do it here I have a little test website here called uh, www.abc-test1.com and I already have a self-signed certificate uh, configured in IIS so what I want to do when I first I want to go ahead and add the binding right in IIS manager so go into the uh, bindings click add go ahead and choose the type to be HTTPS I'm going to go ahead and pil uh, pick my self-signed certificate click OK so you notice now you have a SSL port 443 binding but you'll notice there's no host header configured for it so that is what we have to do at the command line so I'm gonna go ahead and close this so now the binding exists and so I'm gonna go ahead and go to the command prompt you have to be in the C Windows system 32 inet SRV folder and you'll notice that I already have it in here it's appcmd set site and then slash site dot name then put in the this name here is actually the uh, the, the name you give in the IIS uh, configuration for your website um, it doesn't necessarily have to match the actual URL or domain name uh, and then you say slash bindings dot you know protocol equals HTTPS binding information and uh, you put in 443 for the port you repeat this again and then you go ahead and you put in what the host header should be and here you can see it's www.abc-test1.com so I go ahead and hit enter you'll, see, you'll notice it says site object changed let's go ahead and go back into IIS manager if you go back bring up the bindings then you can see uh, okay www.abc-test1.com is now it's a host header configured for port 443 using HTTPS so that's how you add host header using SSL in IIS. I uh, hope this helps. Uh, take care.